There are three movie clips that perfectly describe the last week in Congress. By that, of course, I mean the Republican Party. What's the last week been? It's been a big fight over the debt ceiling. It's something that Republicans use to try to destroy the economy and threaten the Democratic Party. So what's your first movie moment that would describe what's been going on in Congress? That'd be a moment that describes the Nihilists, the Freedom Caucus, the ones that are just willing to blow the whole thing up. A man like Ringo got a great empty hole right to the middle of him. He can never kill enough or steal enough or inflict enough pain to ever fill it. What does he need? Revenge. For what? Being born. They don't understand a modern world. They don't get how to live in it. They don't understand diversity. They don't understand technology. They hate everything about progress and moving forward. You could say they want revenge on the rest of the world for being born. The second movie clip pertains to Kevin McCarthy and those around him who don't like it so much when the world actually burns because they have money in the world, <laughs> particularly the stock market. And if the world goes into recession and stock markets crash because we default on our debt, not good for business. So in the end, Kevin McCarthy needs the fun coupons. Hey, fellas, look what I found in my pocket. Look, a year's salary right here. That's what I call them fun coupons. See that? A fun coupon. Come on, the Snoop Zombie. The third clip pertains to this ridiculous battle of these inane people. Well, at least we can all agree the third one's always the worst. We've tried this before, two times before. When John Boehner was speaker, he tried to corral this group of lunatics, and they threatened the world, just like they're doing right now with the debt ceiling. Of course, he ended up leaving, referring to... Jim Jordan is a legislative terrorist, and I believe an asshole, and he left to drink more wine. Then Paul Ryan came in. Once again, he could not bring folks together, and it was not worth it, and he ran away. So the third movie, well, that's Kevin McCarthy, and if the first and second were bad, what do you think the third's gonna be? Hope it does pass. We'll be back here pointing out how more movie clips have to do with the Republican Party, maybe Asteroid or Gladiator. Luckily, we have an adult in Joe Biden in the room, and well, let's keep him there.